Um, it is. It looks like it's going to be a glorious day in Great Yarmouth. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a glorious day in Great Yarmouth. I'm going to come over here because he's distracting. Um, it's going to be highs of 23 today. So we're just going to just have everyone just have breakfast. I'm just going to get. I'm just going to do this little bit of washing up, and then. Um, brush my teeth, get dressed and all that lot and then we're going to go down to Gorleston I think um, which is like a nice sandy beach because Jade wants to recreate a picture from when she was about how old was you in that picture? about 14 or 15 so she wants to recreate a picture do you? should have bought it with you um, so yeah she wants to recreate a picture um, we haven't been down there for a while because every time we've come down here so far it's just rained all the time so this is meant to be the only nice day we're gonna get so we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna come back here so we're gonna make spaghetti bolognese for dinner well jade's gonna make spaghetti bolognese for dinner um and then we're gonna go down the club to watch england play that should be fun shouldn't it or england loose but i said that last two games good morning hey dear Jay. She's got frizzy hair, I don't know if you can see guys, she's had her hair in French plaits. Um, yeah, I said that last two games and they've actually surprised me, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But we'll catch up with you in a little while, probably when we're up down at Gorleston. So we've arrived in Gorleston after a bit of a run around in the car because obviously the ways took us the wrong way. Um, I bought Kayla and Kenzie some bucket and spades. Um, so they're going to build some sand castles. I don't want it. Keep it on ya. Can't you give me a bag? Um, we came here when Jade was 14, 15. And she's now 21. And it was the rocks there that we took the pictures on, wasn't it? No. Yeah, it was. I'm sure it was them rocks. Oh. Um, so it's... Put them there. It's, it's a nice sunny day. So I'll show you the beach, how sunny it is. So it goes for miles and miles. Sandy beach. Katie is trying to build a sand castle. Katie's trying to build a sand castle. Jade's chilling out in the sand. Kenzie's trying to build <laughs> Kenzie's got a leak in his sand castle and then Madison's just kind of playing with the sand. do cartwheels properly.
for the little ones, not the adults. The adults are just like... So, Jade and Leah kind of building their own little fault. Having fun there, darling? Yep, Your <laughs> <laughs> buckets and spades and they've stolen them, haven't they? Having fun there, Mad? Huh? Building a racetrack. No, I don't know what it is. So we are walking down towards the sea. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I always like this. What? I don't really like walking. Go back then. Sure. Yeah, go back. Uh, they've deserted me. They've all deserted me, guys. They're all sitting up there building their cars. down to sort of like sand and shingle uh, so it says always swim between the green the uh, red and yellow flags so there's one flag there's a lifeboat station and then there's the other flag over there I don't know if you can see it so you've got that one time and parking's okay. Because um, I've not got a clue, we've never really ventured outside Orlando. Um, but we do plan to in November. Because we're not doing no Disney parks. So, we're going to walk around to them. Back on the sand now. Hopefully the sun comes out again properly. Back at the caravan now. Me and Jade are cooking dinner. Um, Jade's doing our own version because she doesn't like mushrooms and onions and me and Lee don't mind. So 
We are cooking spike oil. So this is mine and Lee's. And then the kids and Jade because like there's nothing in there. Yeah. There is. We used a whole packet of mints and so did she, but to be honest with you, we didn't need a whole packet of mints. But if you need some of that you can um but they don't eat mushrooms and onions. Um I just think it gives it a bit of flavour. Pasta here. Boat pasta, as Jay, as Jay calls it. It sounds like pasta. Because um, I don't actually like normal spaghetti. Tip for you guys, if you're making spaghetti bolognese, put a tablespoon of sugar in it and it reduces, takes the acid out of the food. Is it the acid? Yeah. Takes the, the acidity out of the spaghetti bolognese, stops you getting acid indigestion. Um, which I suffer with. I don't, not a big fan of spaghetti bolognese, but um, it does help. And I didn't know that Lee taught me that. Um, but we will do a caravan tour, but we'll do it at the end of our stay because the kids come in and just chucked everything everywhere. So we'll do a, a, a tour on Friday when we leave. But we're going to have dinner and then we're going to go down to get the washing from the tumble dryer in the laundrette. Then we're going to go swimming and then we are going to watch the football. We're going to watch the semi-finals, Europe, uh, England playing the semi-finals, mm -hmm. hopefully beat Netherlands and get through to the final on Sunday. And play against Spain. Yeah, who am I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, they may do well. So that's the plan and we'll catch up with you in a bit. So we've finished cooking and that's mine. Lee's mixed all these in. I haven't, not all of it. Mm. Um, Jade. So Jade made that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then I made mine the and Lee's. The pizza looking one. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. Okay guys, so a little bit later on today, we've had dinner. Um, we're down the top house now, we want to get down here nice and early so we can find a table um, so we can watch a football because as much as we don't normally follow football they are in the semi-finals and they've got really far so I've just... Um, Kenzie, Kadia and Madison are swimming at the moment on the inflatable session and I've just gone and got the stuff out of the laundry yet I'll put that up, put that in the van and I'm just going to go back into the clubhouse now we've got about... So just under four hours to kick off, but I'm sure it'll start filling up as time gets on. But let's wish England well.